what happens if you're on a scooter and you're injured by someone else on a scooter? Well, um, hopefully it wasn't you and your buddy like riding side by side and you just kind of knock each other over. But if you're in a legitimate accident by someone else riding a scooter or a motorcycle, it would be handled similarly to if you were hit by a car. But keep in mind that this might be a little more tricky because there might be a shift in liability. They might try and pin it on you. You're going to pin it on them. So you're probably going to want to get a lawyer on this pretty quickly. Just unless, you know, they just say, oh, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Here's my insurance information. They'll pay you. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. So, you know, it could be a little more tricky with who caused what. And then another thing is, is that a lot of times uh, insurance for motorcyclists or scooter riders is not that substantial like Geico, Progressive, all these like companies that have these really cute commercials will go ahead and sell you the cheapest policies they can um, just to make that initial amount of money. And if they upsell anything, they only make teeny bits of money more, which doesn't pay off for them in the long run. Because if you get in a serious accident, you're going to ask for a lot of money. So most scooters, scooter uh, riders and motorcyclists have like $15,000 of liability coverage. So that's uh, where you could run into some issues um, of not having enough money. And again, where I make my recommendation that you should carry a minimum of $100,000 of uninsured motorist coverage if you can afford it. Um, So anyway, if you're hit by a scooter or another motorcycle, um, check in with a lawyer who specializes in uh, motorcycle cases.